What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some awesome new stuff available at eKnives. Many of you guys are I'm sure familiar with eKnives. Uh, I've been shopping with them for quite a few years, actually a, a couple of years uh, before I even started the channel. They've got a ton of USA made stuff with an emphasis on a lot of automatics. They do have manual folding knives and fixed blades as well, but a super awesome uh, uh, selection of USA stuff and oftentimes, very oftentimes, um, actually find things that are not available anywhere else on the internet. So uh, I'm really happy to uh, now be an affiliate of eKnives. I will link the new arrivals page, which is what we're gonna look at. We're just gonna go, you know, kind of how I do with uh, DLT and Blade HQ. Um, we're just gonna go through and take a look and see what we can find here. Um, I've uh, intentionally stayed away from anything beyond the first page just so that I can share this with you. Um, if there's anything of extreme interest, I will link it specifically down in the description. It does help my channel and use my links, but that's up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's start this off by highlighting the fact that the Microtech Brachial, which is a very powerful side opening automatic knife, is available right now. Uh, they're expensive, but you are getting Microtech quality. I've reviewed this knife, it is really cool, and it actually works for EDC, which is not something that I can always say. Like, the stitch is really cool, but it's kind of a hulking, you know, it's an angry triangle in your pocket. Uh, this guy makes a lot more sense. Um, yeah, this is available for now. I made a community post about this because I was surprised to see it here, but then again, that's kind of why I sought to uh, to work with eKnives because that's what happens a lot of the time. They have an absolute crap load of Microtech automatics. If you've been hunting a particular Microtech and you cannot find it, check eKnives. Sometimes you have to go through a few pages, but they almost always have Microtechs in stock that I don't see anywhere else. Uh, RMJ Tactical, Hatchet, I'm not really a Hatchet guy. They got some interesting Medfords here. Uh, I'm going to keep going because there's some other stuff that I definitely want to look at. Lots of heretic stuff. They do carry, like, for example, the tactile knife uh, rock wall. They have the Spyderco Yojumbo in stock, which I don't always see everywhere. They have a, a nice selection of Benchmades as well. I noticed that they currently have, and I'm sure we'll get to it, they currently have, like, the base Griptilian. Yeah, there it is right there. 130, 126, hey! I don't know how much longer Benchmade is going to be putting these out, but if you've wanted one because you want to do a custom build, that's one of the least expensive and most capable American-made knives out there right now. Uh, I love the Griptilian. It is awesome. So if you're looking for one in black or one in satin, there you go. You can get them in e-knives right now. Like I said, tons and tons of Microtex. The Hera, Blackout, they're expensive. Microtex are expensive, but hey, they are cool. The Hunt Crooked River, there you go. Uh, the Triage, is that how you pronounce that? Hmm. Another Yojumbo, is that the same one or is it just a different listing, I don't know. I wanna keep going back here because I know as we dig deeper into the pages. The other cool thing that they do, yeah, they have double listings or maybe one was the mini and maybe one was the large one. The other cool thing that they do is uh, they get to, oh, look at this, yeah. The Titanium Chavez Ultra, I think this is probably the second wave of these because honestly I saw them on a couple of other retailers, but if you are hunting the full Titanium or the G10 versions of the Chavez uh, 229 Ultramar Redemption, these are the full size ones. I own this exact knife right here and it is worth every penny. I paid 350 for mine, they're 25 up from what they were, but they do come with the regular pocket clip now, right? So if you don't like the skull clip, you can go with the regular clip. And I know the skull clip people are like, they took the screws out of the eyes and they put them above them. Oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. Um, I mean, coming from somebody who has the one with the screws and the eye holes, it's a weird sentence. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I can't say that I, I'm too upset about it. I've always been intrigued by this Borka, this Microtech Borka um, dagger. I think it looks really cool. I'm not sure how ready I am to spend $345, but it is cool for sure. Some pens. Are those Chavez? Chavez pens with the Chavez clip? That's kind of neat. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Mini bug out axis lock, carbon fiber, and S90V. Uh, I think that's something that you can find, you know, almost anywhere. But they do have some readouts in stock. And I think I remember seeing a listing for one with just the regular edge as well. So there you go. If it sounds like I'm far away, I am scooting back a bit when I watch these videos over. It seems like I'm right up next to the screen and I am screaming into the mic and it distorts that there's the, the readout, just the regular one right here if you're looking for that. But I'm trying to not scream so much. <laughs> uh, the Microtech Macora in bronze, that is a really cool one. Uh, they are expensive. But if you're going to go with a Makora, the bronze one, definitely. They have a uh, Bounty Hunter Combat Troid on. <laughs> I don't see those very often. If you're looking for a serrated uh, Bounty Hunter Combat Troid on, that's a really big knife. Uh, they're right there. And they also have the Jedi Knight Ultra Tech, which is something that I've seen floating around here or there. Pretty cool. Moving on here, MKM Maximo Frame Lock and Red Lava Carbon Fiber. That's definitely the first time I've seen that. Uh, that is a cool knife. And uh, for $185, I like it. Protect Godson Automatic. Is this mirror? Oh, it's pre-owned. They do have pre-owned knives sometimes. I don't think they will list anything if it's not in good shape. Uh, yeah, pre-owned mint condition. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to know, I have ordered from eKnives personally and without letting them know like, hey, I'm a YouTuber. Um, probably 10 times. They always ship quickly. And I mean, this is why, like when I select who I want to be an affiliate of, I'm not saying like every single retailer is pounding on my door, like, please work with us. But I'm very selective. Those of you who are familiar with the knife world, there's a reason why when you go down to my description and you see the retailers, they're all super reputable detailers, right? Um, did I say detailers? <laughs> did I? I can't. Now I'm questioning myself. Retailers, they're reputable retailers because they're ones that I have legitimately ordered from. I buy a crap load of knives. And when I say a crap load of knives, I mean I seriously buy a lot of knives. And I try to spread my purchases out. Um, I've bought a lot from eKnives and I've always had a good experience. So um, that's why. But yeah, a mirror polished Protec Godson, that's kind of cool. They're rare. I think they're going to price them accordingly. But those are going to come in pricey anyway. Uh, the Benchmade Auto Fact. I haven't seen that one for a bit. They do have some of these attention to detail, uh, uh, mercantile knives, which I'm not familiar with. I'd actually really like to get, I might, if eKnives is watching this video, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually interested to, uh, look at that one. Not, uh, you know, people think when I say things like that, I mean like, hey, send me one for free. No. It would, it would obviously go back, but that's something that I've seen around and I'm really curious about it. It kind of looks like, it looks like a pretty cool knife. Um, so I just don't know anything about it. They've got some Leong Ma stuff. Uh, is that the integral? That's the new integral. Yes, this is expensive. Yes, I know, but it is an integral and it is S90V and Leong Ma generally offers, it's kind of cool, the size of it, 7.25 inches. Leong Ma is offering a little bit more with his stuff than some of the uh, competition, <coughs> James Brand, out there. Um, let's see. Uh, is that joke old yet? <laughs> uh, holy cow, what is this? I gotta look at this. Harbor Brand Regal, Vegas Forge Damascus. Holy moly, that is freaking beautiful. Can we get... Can I zoom? Ah, Enos, you need a zoom feature here. That's, I wanna see that, uh, look at this. This is gorgeous, holy moly. Colwood. It's not a very big knife. Can't say I'm ultra familiar with it, but it is made in the USA. I really, really like eKnives for their selection of USA stuff. It's not just a few things. They have it. They have an enormous amount of USA made knives, and there's there's a clear emphasis on it, which is really cool. Care, uh, Protec Custom Sprint Herringbone Damascus. Is this a runt? I think. Yeah, a couple of them there. If you're after a uh, a crazy uh, uh, Protec Heretic Medusa Large Sabenza Left Handed Boomerang Damascus. Let's take a look at that here. Lefties rejoice. 
Not the biggest fan of the Sabenza itself, but I can't deny that that is a beautiful blade for sure. Uh, is that, uh, who's doing the boomer? Is this Chad Nichols? I think that's who they've worked with in the past. The Wraith. Holy moly, that's a custom Wraith there. I gotta look at this one too. I know you guys are like, stop looking at the stuff that's like well over a grand. Look at that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Uh, Mother of Pearl inlay. Vegas Forge Damascus. Bolsters? Oh, that's wicked. Holy cow. <laughs> I love finding stuff like this. This is why I didn't go too far back in the pages because I like to be surprised here. The CLA. I, I don't know why I feel like I haven't seen that a lot lately. Spartan Blades and George. That's the Les George fixed blade. That's pretty cool. Really expensive. The Harzy Dagger, though. If I was going to buy... Oof, man, that's cool. Every now and then. Every now and then, fixed blades intrigue me. I think it's it's Daggers. That's uh, the dagger fix. I have no use for it whatsoever, but I don't have any use for like 99% of the stuff that I pick up, right? I mean, you know, <laughs> welcome to the world of a knife enthusiast. They got a ton of really cool fixed blades here too. Neat. Some less expensive off offerings from Spartan Blades, uh, who makes super high quality stuff. Like if you've never handled something from Spartan, the Spartan Harzy folder is awesome. And that's what I'm judging the um, my experience off of. The bailout, which is an M4, very cool. Lefty PM2s. There's the, uh, I'm really tempted by this. Why am I all of a sudden really stuck on dagger fixed blades? I don't know why I think that looks so cool. I think it's because the blade is so wide. Man, that's nuts. 4.3 inches, 9 inches over. That's a, that's a good size fixed blade, too. That's cool. I might have to I might have to return to that one for myself. Bastinelli, Blackbird, Luxury. If you if you need a luxury karambit, there you go. The D Rocket Mini OTFs. Um, is that a custom Macora? Yeah, a couple of custom Macoras right here. Very cool. Uh, Custom Heretic Colossus, which I think, let me look. It's not quite the same size as the Scarab. This is going to be, it's like a bigger, fatter. I think it's maybe close to the same thickness, but it's just not quite as long as the Scarab too. Uh, lots of Troodons. They do have like, this is, uh, uh, the Godson is a really well-priced USA automatic as well as the SBR. Um, actually, I expected the SBR to be lower. I'm going <laughs> to, I don't know why the SBR is so much more expensive than the Godson, but the Godson at 150 bucks is pretty good. You are getting S35VN over what I assume is 154 CM or CPM 154. So if you know you value materials like that, then maybe. I like this uh, textured aluminum runt and I made a I made a post that, like when I said, you know, I'm working with e-knives now. Uh, I made a post about this one because I thought this was cool for 165. You get textured aluminum and CPM 20 CV. Ah, mm, did your ears perk up there? That's a nice, compact automatic knife that should solve some legal issues in some areas for some people is that a mini reflex haven't seen that in a while this is why i like this retailer i'm into this now benchmade infidel otf and black i think those are still in d2 but if you've been seeking out a black one well here it is oh boy that is expensive <laughs> oh i uh believe that that is cpm d2 you might have to check with benchmade they do have a Look at that. Oh, it's textured aluminum, but nice Damascus, though. That's beautiful. Very cool. Some of the knives, you know, like a lot of this stuff is really expensive. And when you're looking at, you know, true USA stuff, that's what you're going to see. So, you know, not everything. There's, It's not going to be in everybody's budget. No, oh, my gosh. Guys. 
if you've been seeking this, I know right now, I know there's someone going, oh my God, I thought those were gone. Yeah, me too. This is like, this is, this is one of the few reasons to choose, outside of the price being a bit less, it's one of the few reasons to choose the Griptilian over the Ritter Hogue. It's because they make a version of this with the sheep's foot blade and the hole. If you own this knife or you have in the past, I get, I can almost guarantee I'm going to get echoes of people going, yes, that is like the, it's, it's, it's almost like the unsung hero of Benchmade Griptilians. This is like what happens when you cross a spider co with a Benchmade. It makes for an, an, an exceptional EDC knife. This blade shape in particular is what got me to love the sheep's foot blade. I might actually pick this up for myself and customize it. This is really, really cool. Can you imagine that with some titanium scales or some nice micarta, carbon fiber, etc., etc.? Uh, let's keep going here. I've been curious about, oh no, this is the Solar Storm EDX. That is a great knife. I have reviewed it. It is wonderful and absolutely worth the money. I'm glad that they carry stuff like that too. Chavez Ultramar Liberation with that super aggressive tan. So we're going on eight pages now. <laughs> I'm still very interested to see what I'm going to find buried back here. Blackout Protect Godson for 165. The Nimravis? whole bunch of benchmates that I'm not seeing anywhere else. Or, I mean, I know, like, people are going to say, well, they are, but you're just not looking in the right place. Right, sure. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I can't dig through every single retailer online. Mini Adamas is sitting here. That's nice. I like that uh, sort of concrete finish they apply. It's like a gray Cerakote or something. It's almost chalky, but I kind of like it. Uh, there's Tour Knives, new USA folder. It's all right. These are interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean weird. They have a couple of super custom SOCOM Elite Warcoms. Uh, carbon fiber and ironwood. I'm more interested in this one right here. Now, when I say interested, I don't mean I'm ready to drop three grand on this, but DLC satin. That means it's going to be a shiny black blade. And I don't think these pictures are doing it justice. I do like those inlays there. That is very beautiful. If I was going to go after a custom, like a Marfion custom right now, I think the SOCOM would definitely be one that I would like to own. But I just, I don't have three grand that I can drop right now. What are these pocket clips for? Tesla, it fits Microtech SOCOM Elite. That's cool. Really? Ah, that is neat. Okay. I didn't, I've never seen somebody make uh, custom pocket clips for the uh, SOCOM Elite. Come on now, internet. Buck knives, they do apparently have a selection of buck knives. That's cool. I'm not the biggest fan of buck, but I know that a lot of people are. Is that a Recon 35 in blue? Mm, yes, it is. That's cool. Whole bunch of Recon 35 Tantos. Uh, that is, the Recon 35 is, and, and I do like the axial shift, but if we're going to talk direct competition, axial shift versus, um, Microtech, Ultratech versus Guardian Tactical Recon 35, the Recon 35 is still the best OTF in its class. And I mean, when I say in its class, I mean a true American OTF, not this fake crap where they're like, Yo, oh, USA made. Uh, well, uh, what we mean is we order a bunch of parts from China and then we slap it together in a warehouse and then put USA on it. No, I mean like actually USA made. You should be questioning that, especially in the OTF world. There are a lot of fakers out there right now. Question it. If it says USA made, uh, your axial shift, uh, your axial knives, your, um, your uh, Microtech knives, your um, Guardian tactical knives, uh, your Benchmade OTFs, your Hogue OTFs, right? Um, those are all USA. Those are all real USA. Um, there's some other companies too. Uh, it's hard to name every single one off the top of my head. But if it looks too good to be true on the price, it probably is. Especially when you can go to Ally Express and find literally the exact same knife. You should be questioning that. Um, <laughs> some oh, there's a lot of rebranding going on. Uh, Bastinelli, big Dragotech. What is this? 
Hmm. I, uh, I don't like this side, but I do like this side with the, uh, the texturing there. That's very nice. G10 and titanium. I wish that they had done the tight. I wish they had done both sides titanium and both sides textured. That would have been really cool. Um, let's keep going here just out of curiosity. The Bayer slip joint. Is that textured? I think that's just the pictures. Weird. Yeah, no, never mind. I thought it was textured. They should texture the Bayer with that same golf ball pattern that they did on the um, rock wall. Spyderco Shaman full serrated, if that's what you're looking for. Look at that. Uh, Tom Mail Covert Medium sitting right there. For those of you looking, those of you, those high rollers out there looking for stuff like that. Ultra Tech Blade Show Texas exclusive. There's a Manix 2 XL. Blackout Benchmade Bug Out. We have paramil the Paramilitary Terry. What is wrong with me? The Spyderco PM2 in Micarta and Crewwear. That's the Crew Carta variant. Bunch more Benchmades I haven't seen for a while. Still interesting. Now, nine or ten pages in. Ten pages. Let's go to page 11 here. <laughs> Might as well keep going, right? Still lots of Microtex. I wasn't kidding when I said they have a crap load of Microtex. Eric Oaks, uh, Lair. Holy. Damtanium? <laughs> Surely that's Timascus. <laughs> that's wicked, man. Holy crap. Damn Tanium. <laughs> Interesting. De uh, titanium Damascus, I'm sure, is what he means. Just another, you know, Timascus is technically its own, it is its own brand. We just refer to it. We refer to all Timascus as Timascus, kind of like how we say, you know, Xerox or Kleenex, right? Uh, ZTO562 Titanium, another Manix 2 XL in Satin. Mini Griptilian with the Spidey Hole. Also very cool. If it stops at 13, I'm going to stop at 13. But if it keeps going, I'm probably going to quit after 12 pages because we've been going for a bit here. Lots. Of, no, it keeps going. Uh, they Look, they've got a lot of stuff in stock here. <laughs> it's nice that you can go by, you know, Microtech, Sale, or you can check out their pre-owned section, which is probably not massively stocked. Actually, it looks to be pretty well stocked if you're looking for something weird. No, it's, there's just, they got a few things in here. So they must do, I don't know if they do like consignment or trades. I'm not really sure. Um, I've never actually looked in this section. Knives, gear, and new arrivals. Very cool. Guys, check out e-knives. I will do this periodically where I go through. I'll probably wait until they stock a bunch, you know, new pages. I like to rotate through the retailers I, I work with to check this stuff out. But definitely worth going through if you saw something you're, you liked. Uh, use my link right down below for e-knives and uh, go through. Uh, very interesting stuff. I think that's going to be pretty much it today. Uh, thanks so much for joining me in uh, a little bit of knife shopping. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.